Good morning, dear students. I am Pallavi Ma'am from Sanskriti School. I hope you all are doing great. Today, I shall be narrating a short story. The title of the story is Health is Wealth. This story, there are two main characters. The first character is Simi and the second character is Jess. Now children, let's get started with the story. Simi and Jess both were siblings. They both studied in the same school as well. Simi was in grade 5 and Jess was in grade 3. Both of them were very excited. They were excited because tomorrow it was the last working day of their school. Because after that, the summer vacation was going to start. Now, the next day, both of them went to school. They met their friends. They had lots of fun. They did lots of fun activities as, as it was the last working day of the school. They wished their friends a very happy holidays. Now, they came back home once the time of the school was over. And the summer break started. Simi planned her summer break in a very good manner. She planned the routine properly. She decided things to be done in a certain manner. She fixed a timetable. She enjoyed doing the activities on time. She woke up early. She ate breakfast, lunch and dinner on time and she loved eating fruits. As it was summers, she enjoyed eating watermelon and at times she also ate bananas. Rest of the day she spent eating healthy food like veggies, the amazing vegetables. She ate lettuce, carrot, brinjal and all other vegetables that were available at home. On the other hand, if we talk about Jess, he did not follow any routine. He woke up whenever he wanted. He ate the fried food. He ate all the unhealthy food. He never did breakfast on time. He never did lunch and dinner on time. He postponed things to a different time. His routine was disturbed. He always enjoyed eating pizzas. He always enjoyed eating pizzas, fries, burgers and most of the times he loved eating ice creams. Then the entire summer break went like this. Now the summer break was over. It was the time for the school to reopen. Both of them were excited again. They went to school. Now the time for the session was over. They came back home. Simi, as usual, she was very happy. She shared that she had a great time with her friends. She did all the activities. She completed the work which was assigned by the teacher. She also copied all the instructions properly from the blackboard and she was excited for the new term to begin. On the other hand, Jess came back home crying. He was upset. He was sad. No one understood the reason behind his tears. Simi asked Jess, what happened Jess? Why are you upset? Why are you crying? Jess informed Simi that, Simi, you were right. As I spent my entire summer break eating junk food, it has affected my health. Today, while I was playing with my friends in the playground, I was not able to run fast. I got tired so early. And even when I came back to class and the teacher was writing the instructions on the board, I was not able to copy them properly. My eyes were paining. 
Now Simi understood the reason behind this. She explained, Jess, now the importance of eating healthy food. She told that when you eat healthy food like vegetables and fruits, you get lots of vitamins and minerals which keep, keep your body, keep our body healthy. They give us lot of energy so that we can perform the tasks. Now, Jess realized his mistake. He promised Simi that from now onwards, he will follow a good habit. He will fix a routine. He will eat all the healthy food, all the veggies and the fruits. And he will stop eating the junk food. At the end, Simi also shared one important point. He said that health is the only wealth that one could ever have. Children, I hope you understood the moral behind the story. Always eat healthy food. If you eat healthy food, you will become healthy and you will become strong. You will feel active and you will feel energetic throughout the day. Children, this is all about the story and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and have a nice day.